Good morning, everyone. Today is the big day. We are having a baby. Um, I actually woke up really early this morning. It's like 5 a.m. Um, Nick and Tara came over yesterday to grab Ollie's bag and the wagon, um, and they're going to grab him at 6.37. I have to be there by 8.30 in the morning. We need to leave here by um, like 7.30ish to get there. Um, I woke up this morning and I went to the bathroom and I'm pretty sure my mucus plug came out. So I feel like this is a sign that baby was coming anyway. Um, they have me um, washing myself with this like sterile soap. I had to go in two days ago for blood um, to count like my antibodies and stuff like that. I feel like um, a lot of people don't mention like all the steps of c-section so i'm trying to do my best here to show you what i'm going through at the moment um so two days ago blood drawn and then they gave me soap that i had to wash my belly and my body with yesterday and then this morning i didn't wash my hair yet i'm gonna do that today so then i have like freshly washed hair and i don't have to worry about washing my hair while i'm there um i'm unfortunately not allowed to shave due to like skin infections so be aware um i did not know this so you are not allowed to shave for like the couple days before um so if you want to shave i would highly suggest doing it um at least like three or four days before anthony and ollie are still sleeping i have like the entire house cleaned i deep cleaned my entire house yesterday so they told me that i'm gonna be there at least three to four days depending on pain um it's just me and anthony until uh like two hours after the procedure and then i can have people come um they did tell me my hospital is still like very covid um censored like they're not giving any sort of pool like i'm not allowed to have a million people come in um i'm only allowed to have two people at a time and they told me i'm getting like mixed um signals of like if children are allowed to come or not so lily went to my dad's yesterday and she'll be showing up with my dad later on today um and then nick and tara are coming but um he's not Ollie's not coming. Um, we think it's a better idea to just leave him home. Um, and he just like enjoy his time with Nick and Tara down the shore. And then when we come home, we can, you know, introduce him to the baby. I don't want to bring him to the hospital and then the baby, like we can't go home with him. Um, so that's how we're going to do it and just make it easier. But I have to get in the shower, wash my hair and get myself all ready. And I think Anthony is now up, so we're gonna get the day started. Okay, shower's finished. The only thing I like put anything on is my face because I'm like breaking out really bad from stress right now. Um, you're not allowed to put on lotions, and I'm not gonna like actually do my hair, like blow dry it and stuff like that because I don't want to um, like spray it down and then I get on my like sanitary body. So I made sure to like wash my hands again with the sterile soap after I did my face. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on right now. Anthony went to Dunkin' Donuts to get himself some food and a coffee. I'm having like mild cramps. I really think that today was going to be the day no matter what. <laughs> because like I said, my mucus plug came out and I'm having cramps now because I took a, like a nice hot shower. I just want to be fully transparent here. Just because your um, mucus plug comes out doesn't mean you're going into labor. My mucus plug came out with Oliver a week before um, my induction and he still didn't come out. But he's been so low and the cramping's coming, so I don't know. Um, I'm not having contractions right now. It's just cramps all in the front. Um, I have all the bags and stuff ready. We ended up um, going from like six bags to one big bag. Um, I had like my individual, like we all had our individual bags, but then I was like, I'm not making you carry all this stuff from the parking lot to labor and delivery. This is ridiculous. So I ended up just getting like my big suitcase and put all of our stuffs in there. The only one that still has like a separate bag is Alfie and then 
I have like a snack bag for Anthony because they feed me, they don't feed him. Um, so he brought like granola bars, um, little bags of chips, stuff like that. And he's bringing cash to go to like the cafeteria. I'm also making sure I grab my insurance cards. Um, even though I've been at this hospital for over two years, like through the practice, I want to make sure that I have everything. Now's the time to like grab your birth plan and everything else. Um, I have my pump already. I set it up. I have the LV pump. That's the one I'm bringing with me to the hospital. Um, I had to set that up like there's an app for it so you're able to like see how much you're pumping and stuff so that i have that um ollie got an ear infection like two days ago we went to my mom's house over the weekend for a block party and he was in like a water slide he got a like water's swimmer's ear um and he got a really bad ear infection in one but it's not bothering him it's just coming out like green and gross and it's like kind of crusting around his ear and that's what's bothering him like he's not in any pain so i have to make sure to remember his medicine out of the fridge and his charger um for his ipad but other than that like he's all ready to go and lily said she grabbed everything yesterday i don't really believe her but we're gonna trust the process and if she needs anything she's kind of screwed until tomorrow when she goes to her dad's um the house is like completely set up for baby stuff i brought down my cart and i have all the baby stuff already and then i have joey coming over for the next like four days to um like feed the cats as you can see loki's out doing what he's doing i don't know he's he's not ready <laughs> um so yeah that's basically what's going on right now and i'm probably not gonna like vlog every minute i am fully aware that i'm not allowed to vlog during the c-section so i could do before and after um and i'm hearing good things about recovery this time around i was more nervous about the actual c-section like smelling like popcorn and like burnt popcorn and then like um the tugging and pulling and pressure and everything else but my friend my co-worker had a c-section and she said that they like reassure you throughout the whole thing um they tell you what they're doing stuff like that and anthony's allowed to cut the umbilical cord if he wants to so i'm just feeling a little bit better um about this time around they're telling me like it's gonna be 20 to 30 times better this time around for recovery um they call you like the night before to make sure you're doing everything you're supposed to do for the c-section the next day so and she was telling me that it's way easier recovery and they have like most people are up and walking within the two hour mark afterwards um i know i have to get like a spinal block so that's probably not going to be in here either um, it's probably going to be me getting admitted and um going into my room and stuff like that and just getting comfortable and then they put the spinal block in my legs will go completely numb um pretty fast and then she told me that we'll go straight in for the c-section um anthony will be holding the baby the entire time she's saying it's going to be around 30 to 40 minutes the baby will be out pretty quickly they'll sew me up and then take me back to like my um postpartum room and then from there um two hours after my postpartum they're going to well, after my surgery, they're going to feed me and then they're going to take my catheter out once I can feel my legs again and try to get me up and walking within eight hours. So that sounds pretty good because they waited over 12 hours the first time around and it was extremely painful. And people keep saying because I was in like actual labor, going through labor for such a long time and then having the C-section. And then being completely put under general anesthesia and like not being awake for four hours afterwards it's just a lot of stress on the body so yeah she said this is gonna be a lot easier on me we'll just see because i had like i said it before i have a really bad um sense of like dealing with pain i really do um, i'm just really nervous um so yeah i'm probably not gonna pick up the camera again until ollie gets up we'll say our goodbyes and then we head straight to the hospital so wish me luck guys <laughs>
so it's the next day um i didn't record much of anything yesterday other than like me going in and then people coming over um on my phone i kept my phone in my bag like during the first half of my c-section and um it was like it ran a little late so they were just like doing the iv checking on the baby um what else did they do I don't know they shaved me they had like everything sterilized and then they came in and talked to me with like the anesthesiologist and like tried to explain what was going on um so it ran like 40 minutes late alfie was born at 11 11 on 7 27 23 and he is 7 pounds 14 ounces and 21 inches long um he is the perfect little bundle of joy he was out within like two minutes of the c-section i couldn't smell anything because i was crying um it was a happy moment oh it was an emotional moment because <sighs> just hearing him cry he was um born within two minutes um if you've never had a c-section before which i've tried to be like extremely transparent about um they have you go in the room alone while well, minded and they did the spinal block they do like a numbing needle first and then they do the spinal block and it's pretty quick um and your legs go like out pretty quickly i was like wiggling my toes until they couldn't wiggle no more um and then they started prepping my belly um and i'm gonna be completely honest it's not modest at all like you're completely naked in front of everybody in the room and there's a lot of people in there a couple of nurses i had two doctors um one, it's a teaching hospital so one was learning and then i had two anesthesiologists behind me um so it's a lot of people going on along with like uh the prenatal unit was in there not the prenatal the natal unit was in there for Alfie when he came out so it's a lot of people in there it's not modest at all like you're just fully butt naked in front of everybody they like had it from like my breast up uh for my gown and that's it um and then they had me like with my arms out they didn't strap me down um they had the IV on one side and then like my blood pressure on the other side and I had my arms down and then they put up a like what is that not a wall it's like a sheet yeah they just hang it on like two things um so you can't see anything at all but you can hear them they my doctor put on music and we chose like classic rock to just relax to that's anthony's favorite music if you don't know that um and like i said alfie was like they pinched my belly to see if i could feel anything didn't feel anything and um they started the procedure like they had anthony come in start the procedure and like within two minutes he was out um they brought him to us um when he like immediately came out and then they took him over to the station and cleaned him off and then anthony went over there and took pictures and you know um was over there and then they brought him back over with alfie and they sat next to me until the c-section was over um there you do feel like a lot of pressure as they pull the baby out but other than that it went so smoothly i was emotional at the beginning because i was scared to go through the c-section um and the recovery and like being completely naked in front of all those people it's very like you didn't know that was gonna happen type of thing um but then like having the baby come out it was all just about him like that's all i was noticing i wanted to see his face and i wanted to look at him and just you know take it all in um and it was a very intimate moment between me and my husband i highly recommend doing it with just you and your partner um because it was way better than last time um if you weren't around for that it was just a hot mess with ollie's delivery i do have the story down below if you would like to hear about it um and like the difference between his and lily's um it's down below if you would like to watch that too i'm not gonna like redo the whole story but yeah this time around has been great it's actually day two um actually he hasn't even been like born a whole day uh but we've been here f since yesterday morning um and yeah we got up i got up within like four hours of the surgery moved around he breath like we did chest to chest as soon as like we got um skin to skin as soon as we got into 
the room um so i was immediately welcomed by him it wasn't like i had to wake up like last time it was just him on top of me and then he wanted to breastfeed he breastfed for like an hour um and then they ended up taking him why'd they take him to like test him what the nursery yeah when? yesterday Oh, they did like the hearing testing and all that? Yeah, I think they did like testing um, and they did his first bath because he had like stuff all over him. Um, and they took him for like an hour. Uh, we were supposed to move over here within an hour after the surgery, but I don't know what was going on and they couldn't move us until like 2 o'clock. So we ended up coming over here. I took a nap until like 1.30, um, which I really needed. And the pain wasn't that bad like even after surgery they had me keep wiggling my feet to like try and get the numbness to go away and they had like these pressure cuffs that kept going um on both of my feet so like the blood circulation would just continue to go but yeah they had me like wiggling my feet and i could basically feel my belly um by the time i had to come over here and like my feet were going like crazy but i couldn't like stand up or anything they still had me on the catheter um and we were over here by two o'clock my mom and lily showed up by like 2 30 and yeah we had visitors since then so i really didn't have the time to record um they had me walk around four o'clock so like i said it wasn't that bad um they had me go from like the bed to a chair and then um i sat at the chair for a good while and then i ended up getting up to go to the bathroom and then did we take a walk after that yeah. yeah i ended up taking a walk around the maternity ward so um and then we didn't go to bed until after like nine o'clock we had non-stop visitors i do have pictures and to be honest um with privacy and stuff like that i don't want to put up like my family's pictures i'll put up the picture of like lily and um alfie and then ollie has not come to visit we just think it's better to leave him at home because he's already asking for us to go home um like if he comes here he's probably just like let's go home type of situation and we don't want to do that so we're gonna see him when we get home they're either gonna discharge us tomorrow or the next day so it's either a three or four day stay here but he's doing great he's seen Al uh, alfie through the facetime and he says he's bald he has hair um but ollie thinks that we should cut somebody's hair off and put it on his head so he's very bald um and ollie's like so happy and so excited um lily was being a little indifferent in the beginning but then she like completely tore down she did the same thing with oliver when he was born um yeah she's like obsessed with him she wants to stay and see him i think she's coming today with my dad um but yeah everything's going well i'm feeling better they took off like the um wrap that they had on my incision this morning i took a shower I'm feeling good. I took a walk. Um, the only issue is like the gas buildup after the surgery is kind of hard to deal with. So definitely, you know, pay attention to that if you're having an upcoming C-section. That's just something to worry about. And then the gas on top of like the breastfeeding contractions, because you do contract when you let down, um, is very difficult to deal with. But other than that, I feel like I feel great. I feel way better um, this time around. I'm getting. I'm waiting for Alfie to come back from like his hearing test and stuff so we're taking pictures and his um like welcome to the world pictures and stuff like that and just like spending the day with just us two is there anything we should add did I forget something okay well that's pretty much it that's it that's all that's going on i ended up putting on like um a nightgown but this nightgown is way too short so i put on some pants as well and i'm wearing the binder um i put the binder on immediately when i started walking yesterday because it just gave me some security i did not put the binder on last time and i feel like it was just like all over the place i did end up getting um stitches this time instead of or staples this time instead of glue I don't know why that was the decision um but i definitely i feel like i can't pull it apart like i felt with the first time around um but i did take a shower and everything's good to go anthony checked it out and said he looks good um so yeah 
that's that's my update right now and i'll like throw more snippets of like us with the baby and like ollie meeting the baby but that's my whole birthing vlog as of right now i don't really want to continue recording or doing anything like that other than like snippets here and there um so yeah i'm gonna do like a first day home with the baby and we'll start vlogging that way at home i just want to like soak up all of the hospital with my baby So it's Saturday. We might be going home today, which I'm super excited about. I got cleared this morning. Um, I have to go to my doctor's on Wednesday to get the staples removed. I'm just waiting to see what the pediatrician says about Alfie. He passed his hearing test this morning. He's doing well. Um, they actually took him last night so we could get some rest. Um, my pump, I charged my pump. I made sure to charge my pump in a time, like timely manner. Um, and it was completely dead when I got here. He was <sighs> cluster feeding really bad last night, like every hour. And he was feeding for like 40 to 50 minutes. So I got like a 10 minute break. My milk has officially come in because he's cluster feeding. And um, if I don't go home and pump, it's, it's gonna be like really bad. So I'm hoping that we can go home today. If not, Anthony's gonna have to go to the house and grab some bottles and another pump or my charger because i just cannot it's just too much right now and he's not eating enough to like relieve this so yeah i'm hoping we can go home today i took a shower anthony took stuff to the car all that's left is like our big bag um and for some reason they have soiled all of alfie's outfits every time they take him back to the um nursery he somehow pees all over his clothes so he only has one outfit left um and the reason we're putting him in clothes is because they're keeping him in like a half shirt but it's cold in the room due to it being like 97 degrees out so we keep putting him in a, a sleeper pretty much and yeah every time they bring him back he's in the shirt and his clothes are wet so this is his last last outfit so anthony will have to go home and get clothes as well um but he's already packed up the room and took everything and i'm just ready to go home i'm ready to see ollie um I'm getting no sleep here because people are in and out of the room. I'm just tired. Um, and I just want to be in the comfort of my own house. We're officially home. I have a little guy here with me. Um, we just waited for discharge because at this point I was just ready to go home. I begged my doctor to let me go and I have to go in on Wednesday of next week to get my staples taken out. He has to go to the pediatrician. So everything's gonna get done at the same time. Um, he looks good, um, he's eating good. They cleared him to go. He passed his hearing test, finally. Um, and then my milk came in while I was there and my breast pump died, so I couldn't pump. So I just really wanted to come home and be the comfort of my house. We ordered a Target pickup, but because of the heat, they um, weren't doing drive up and we didn't wanna wait any longer to just come home. So we're gonna pick that up tomorrow and Anthony's putting everything away. So he's just running around putting things away and I'm sitting here. Uh, we're gonna order some Chinese food. Ollie's down the shore with Nicotera. Lily's at her dad's now, so it's just us relaxing. We just got home, we're introducing the cats. Um, yeah, that's what's going on and I'm probably gonna end the vlog here because I would, I just wanna um, you know, cuddle up with the baby. Um, of course, I'll like include the photos and stuff that I have, um, but other than that, welcome little Alfie to the world. Um, and I want to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next vlog.